Hi, my name is Sean Walker, and I am part of the product success team here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to be taking you through a demo of granular locations that was added in the Vancouver release of Enterprise Asset Management. Granular locations functionality has been added with Enterprise Asset Management. It allows Enterprise Asset Managers to assign assets to very specific hierarchical locations. For example, assets can be deployed to a specific building, floors, or even to a specific area and, or cubicle. Asset managers can now make sourcing decisions based off stock rooms that serve that deployment location. Other features like asset audits or recall or loaners can now all include child locations and leverage the hierarchical locations. A location, the location table is a shared table across the platform. When setting up granular locations, it's important to consider all of the other applications which may be affected. The granular locations feature also allows enterprise asset managers to specify a location type, such as region, country, state, or province, right down to the room or floor. Features like asset audit have been updated to leverage the new location hierarchy allowing enterprise asset managers to create audits for a, lo a location, which can also include all the child locations, rather than having to create an audit for each individual location. The location hierarchy is now, su now supports the following flows, the asset audit, asset recall, asset request, source request, asset refresh, and loaner asset. The use cases for granular locations are being able to track individual or specific locations inside a building or facility. Customers can now define that location type when defining an asset hierarchy. They can cover asset audits, including all children location. They can include child locations in flows, such as the asset recall or refresh flow. And deployment locations can be based off of the user's location provided on the request. There is no upgrade impact to this new feature as it does not modify any existing entities. So all of your existing locations will not have the new hierarchical structure unless they are updated manually. This feature will be available for all customers installing or upgrading enterprise asset management applications. I'll now jump into an instance and demonstrate some of the granular location features. I've now logged into an instance um, uh, with EAM installed on the Vancouver release. So I'm gonna show you how to set up a granular location uh, with the parent and child relationships. So since it's a shared table, I would create locations just like anything else. Go to locations. And in this case, for this example, I'm going to be setting up the Ontario Toronto ServiceNow location um, structure. So since Ontario is part of Canada and North America, I'm going to go to North America. And I can see there's already a bunch of child locations that have been set up within the instance, but I don't see uh, Ontario has not been set up. So I'm going to click on new and create a new child location from the North American pair. So we're going to call this Ontario and it doesn't have a city since it is a province. So we're going to give it province and it's in Canada. Um, I'm not going to put any contacts since these are just fictional or phone numbers. Um, but I can put in the latitude and longitude, and this can be used um, with some of the mapping features that are available and are going to be available within the instance. So if you're going to be wanting to use the mapping features as they get released, um, it's nice to put these latitude and longitudes in when you're creating the locations. And I can hit submit. So you can see here that the parent is specified as North America. And so now I can see the newly created child location. And if I want to see uh, create even more, I'm going to go now create the city of Toronto. 
And this is in Ontario. Oh, sorry, Toronto. Ontario. Good spell. Um, Canada. And again, the parent is going to be Ontario. Again, I'm going to put in the latitude and longitude. And click Submit. And I can keep going and create the new um, location. So now I'm going to now I have Toronto created. I can create the service now Canada Toronto location. Put in some street information. And again, put in some latitude and longitude information. And again, I can keep going down now into the actual office location itself. So now I can actually start creating um, the different floors within the um, within the building. So again, it's going to have the same attributes. So this is particularly helpful, especially when you start having, you know, different campuses, for example, with multiple buildings, multiple floors, and you can go and specify each individual campus, each, each individual um, floor in that campus, each specific room in that campus, etc. So in this case, I can even come into floor one and say, this is where the ocean boardroom is. I'm not going to bother filling out the rest of this. You don't need to see me filling out the rest of this. And now I'll show you how, what they look like when you're trying to select the location um, from different places within the platform. Another new feature that was added with the Vancouver release of Enterprise Asset Management was the location type field. Um, now this, the default form hasn't been updated to include location type, but you can set the location type right from the list to you of your locations. So to do that, I can just double click on the location type and pick what this is. In this case, it is a state or province and I can save that. And I can actually do that for the remainder of the new locations that I set up within the instance. So in this case, this is a building or structure and give each one of these their own specific or location type. And so that's how you would set the location type for all of the new locations that were set up within the instance. Okay, so now I've navigated to the Enterprise Asset Estate. And for example, I want to deploy um, this particular, uh, where are we here? Say this cart battery, for example, to um, the ocean boardroom. Um, so this is a, this is a, multi, or sorry, a symbol asset. So we're gonna pick the parent. And we're going to deploy this manually. So we're going to change this to in use. And that allows us to change the location. So now we're going to actually see what the location hierarchy we just configured looks like. 
So when I select locations, I can scroll down and now see the new Ontario location that was created. From in there, I can see Toronto, the ServiceNow Canada Toronto, floor one, and there is the ocean boardroom. So I can select that and deploy this specific asset right to that very specific granular location. So again, you can do this for any kind of equipment. So say you have manufacturing and you have areas set up and you can set them up very specifically to that very specific area within um, an environment. So uh, in addition, when you start using features like indoor maps, when it becomes available, you'll be able to see exactly where that location is on a map. I'm going to save this and that's how you would assign an asset to a very specific granular location. So now I'm going to show you how to use granular locations on some of the default flows within asset management. So I'm going to go to the inventory, sorry, the inventory and create a recall order. This will be covered in a lot more detail in a subsequent video, but for now I'll just show you how to select the different locations. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to find the locations that I created earlier. So say we know all of the um, assets within Ontario need to be reclaimed. Um, and what we can do is making sure, or sorry, recalled, um, what we need to do, what we can do is include all the different child locations. And so you see here the warning that comes up. If you choose a parent location with child locations, all assets from those child locations will be included in your selection. So if you're just including a specific model um, and want to recall all of the models, no matter where they're located, um, within Ontario, it will then include all of the assets from all of those different child locations that we set up earlier in our demonstration. Okay, so now I've logged into the mobile application and I am going to show you how to create an asset audit using the child locations. So I'm going to switch over to Enterprise Asset Management and I can go to Location Audits and say I want to start a new location audit. I can now pick my locations. Pick Toronto and then make sure to include all of my child locations and hit submit. So when ServiceNow is going to be calculating the expected assets for this particular area, it's going to look up all of the different locations, the parent location and all the child locations and include all of the assets within those locations. This does take some time to compile the list because of all the different hierarchies, but when you're reviewing the results, you'll be able to see all the different location information. So that demonstrated the granular locations that are now available in Enterprise Asset Management Vancouver release. Um, if you have any additional questions or would like some more information, you can always visit the ServiceNow product documentation website at docs.servicenow.com or you can visit the Enterprise Asset Management community um, which has a welcome guide and has a lot more information about different features that have been released within Enterprise Asset Management. Thank you very much for your time.